Tamil Nadu has been ranked as India's number one state for export readiness in the Niti Aayog's recently released Export Readiness Index. The state already has a pole position in electronic exports in FY23. Jude Sanit reports that the state is now looking at semiconductor exports to extend its lead over other states. Take a look. This is chip maker Polymatics manufacturing unit just outside Chennai. Since 2019, the company has manufactured semiconductor chips here, investing 650 crore rupees in the process. It now boasts of a 2,000 crore rupee order book and 70% of this is earmarked for exports. Polymatic says it will boost production to meet and grow this order book. This expansion will cost it 8,000 crore rupees over the next two years. Currently, our uh, installed capacity is 300 million chips with an efficiency of 80%, which means we are doing 240 million chips as of now. And uh, this calendar year, we are going up to 10 billion chips. And we have placed orders, and machines are coming in the month of November. Nearly 15 other electronics majors, including Foxconn, Pegatron, Salcomp, and Tata Electronics, have expanded their production footprint in Chennai. A large percentage of their output has been earmarked for exports. Tamil Nadu recently became the top exporter of electronics goods among Indian states. In FY23, it accounted for nearly $5.37 billion of electronics exports, which was three times its FY22 export number of $1.86 billion. During this time, the state also accounted for nearly a quarter of all electronics exports in the country. From 11.98% in FY22, Tamil Nadu's contribution to India's total electronics exports jumped to 22.8% in FY23. This was instrumental in the state topping the Niti Aayog Export Readiness Index with a score of 80.89, outstripping Maharashtra and Karnataka. The Tamil Nadu government wants to step on the gas and is targeting contributing to half of India's electronics goods exports. Developing a semiconductor ecosystem in time for its global investor meet in January, it says, will be key to getting there. Honorable Chief Minister's government has been very keen on getting in uh, new uh, semicon manufacturers. But you do know that, you know, the semicon the manufacturing setup doesn't happen overnight, right? We are going after big time uh, 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 manufacturers who are big names in the industry. I'm sure some of it will, is going to come very soon, probably during the gym. We might have some fascinating, uh, fantastic announcements. Tamil Nadu has been tight-lipped on who these companies are, especially after losing a potential investment from Micron. But with supply lead times improving and a supportive state policy in place, it is confident more chip makers will line up to invest in the state. In Chennai, Jude Sanat. Well, Tamil Nadu's aspiration there to be a semiconductor exporter. And with that, it is time for us to wrap up this edition of Business 360. Thanks very much for watching. Do stay tuned. The news continues here on CNBC TV 18. We're back in a minute with more.